thanks for coming. I thought today I'd just make one up as I go along. I'm not quite sure what it's gonna what it's gonna look like yet. I'll just see how the paint flows. So this is just clean water. Going on to me uh Fabriano watercolour paper. I'm just gonna have a bit of raw sienna, lizard and crimson. Pop that in. A bit more water. Same again. Just working my way down the page. Just seeing what happens really on the paper. And I'll just work with it. Next bit of ultramarine. Bit of light red. down to the bottom. A bit more water. It's all a bit dry at the moment. Ultramarine, a bit more light red. A bit of lemon yellow in there as well. Just working my way around the paper and just basically seeing what happens really. <coughs> Bit of a lizard in crimson, Payne's grey. Just a few little clouds in there. Little clouds coming down. A few more on the other side. Push down a bit there, a bit more like that. Clean bit of tissue. Although it's not that clean really. And these are just clouds. I'm popping in. A few more on this side. Just soaking up where the water's gathering at the bottom of the paper. And then the paper stretched a little bit, so I'm just going to pull it tight so I've got a flat surface to work with again. And then so go quick dry. Be bone dry, just drier than it was. And then I'm just going to pick up a bit more of those sky colours, leaning towards blue. And let's have some uh, some hills and mountains in the background. And a big one going up there. The raw sienna. Lemon yellow, ultramarine. Bit of the umber. I'm just going to clean the brush slightly. Yeah, maybe a bit more than that. I'm going into lemon yellow on its own just to get a little bit lighter. A bit more on this side, and then a bit more of this is sort of water there, just reflecting the light of the sky. Burnt umber, ultramarine. Just defining what these like the sort of banks of the of the lake. Let's clean the brush. Um, just getting it flat again. You need to stretch a little bit more, and then I think I might. Take my piece of card, just a piece of plastic card, let's just put a little cabin or something over here. So I'm just going to put it down a little bit. 
the little cap in, just gives it a slap. Some, uh, I think it's a bit dry. Yeah. I Dark in the foreground there. It's going to swoop around, something like that. Maybe a few little, few little things basically up there. making sure that just holding the brush parallel with the bottom of the paper so these are all sort of horizontal these lines so I don't want them sort of slanting one way or the other. These are just the sort of bits of mud visible above the water. Back to the uh, piece of car I'm just scraping a few little Little rocks here and there. Big one there. Yeah. Anything you're not clear on, just just paint straight over it. If you've gone over the top, just paint straight over it. A few little, a few little small ones in there. I think. Switch to the rigger. And it's just, uh, just going to put a little. A couple of little birds in the sky. I'll pop them in the lighter area so it's, it's easy to see them. And I'm going to call that one finished. Pop your signature in the corner somewhere. Right. Let's see what it looks like with the main so. That's what it looks like with the main on, so if we go in and have a closer look. Sky, a bit of a mishmash, all sorts of colours going in there. Um, so yeah, quite a nice effect here, see a bit of contrast there, the white clay that was taken out with the tissue against the sort of darker region of the sky. And then more sort of subtle effects as we go along. The most distant hills, using the same colours, you can see how Bit of little tonal change there, pushes it right back, almost just disappears in into the sort of low lying clay areas. Introduce more sort of lemon yellow as we come forward in these sort of grassier areas there, as we come down into sort of middle ground. This little cabin, put in very simply, just a couple of scrapes for the roof and then that side, and then this area, just a few downward scrape through the corner just to get that sort of the side that end of the barn and then the water just sweeping round you can see sort of 
bit more card work here, scraping out rocks. The paint will have to be at about half dry unless you put it on you know pretty thick like I did. You can you can scrape it out straight away then. But it's hard not to overdo it really once it starts working well. Well I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoy what you watch. Um, you can also help me by liking and sharing and commenting in the uh, description down below. Keep practicing. Any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.